I just want to say, just want to thank everybody again, and, uh, and I'm saying it's really nice to be here. Like I was here with uh, Eddie and uh, Adam uh, like five, six years ago. You know, like it's great. I was telling them like it's great to see the academy growing. Like uh, all the same guys that I saw, like like with white, blue belts, purple belts. Now like brown, black belts and stuff. Like Adam was a purple belt back like, then. Now like great to see him here. Like you know, like teaching with the, the black belt. Guys, it's awesome. And I just wanna for the guys who like for part of the white belts, you know, and uh, they're just starting. For sometimes you think of like, oh, the black belt so far away, you know, uh, go like it's very hard to achieve. But like, uh, if we get an elephant, right, we're gonna eat an elephant. The best way to do is like one piece at a time. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to eat the whole elephant. You know, it's life. If you want to repeat it, you're gonna eat one piece at a time. Soon be gone. You know, and like you want the same thing. If you want to climb a big mountain. One step at a time. You just look at the top, oh, I'm never gonna make it. You know, just focus on the next step, next step, next step, and when you realize you're there. All right, guys, so like I'm gonna handle to Eddie and Adam. And once again, thanks so much for having me here. It's really hard to keep these things a surprise, you know? And, and a major part of that is because this is something that's extremely obvious. These guys getting the black belt today, you know, it's, in my opinion, you know, they're, they're the toughest, they've been the toughest brown belts, you know, they've been uh, ready for the black belt for years. So it's a great honor, and uh, I don't do good in, in the big groups like uh, when I got my black belt, the guys were there. You know, so cry a little bit. And I kind of feel like that for these guys. These guys are uh, major inspirations to me. And every belt is, you know, an honor. You know, I know when I got my blue belt, I was, dri I was driving home with the thing on. And my friends called me later. We went to go eat something. Have my belt in the car, driving around. It's an honor. But this one is special. You know, this is something that is gonna is gonna connect us for the rest of our life. If you try to try to forget about us, you can't. You know, you see this is an intimate art, we train closely together all the time, but we're racking up the hours. In this stage of life, the hours are racking up. So these guys, there's, they're, they're my brother, you know, these are my brothers, so it's an honor for me to just be here and even, you know, to give honor to them. So, first one, Andre. and all the professors is to Adam and Eddie, I am so indebted to you guys. You guys have brought me in and, and made me part of the family, which is the biggest reason I train here. I could go to any school anywhere I want and, and, and just be another student. But here, I was, uh, I felt like honorary resident, but maybe a little shorter. Um, and it means everything. So in, in front of everybody here, my family, my wife, you know, my, my niece, my brother, Thank you for everything. I owe you guys so much. Thank you. Um, and if I can say anything to the students, it's it's what I've been thinking about for years. It, what, what helped me get to the black belt is I feel like the biggest thing I can do, the biggest justice you can do to yourself as a practitioner of the artist is, is to look inward, challenge yourself. Don't look to the exterior. Be the kind of guy that 
if, if things aren't going your way, if you're not making the leaps and bounds and, and the, the advances in your game that you want, don't, don't look for exterior factors. Don't be common. Don't be ordinary. Look inside. At, you know, are you eating the right things? Are you training hard enough? Are you on the mat? Are you, are you competing? You know, don't look to say, oh, the ref cheated me or, or the instructor's not showing me this. It, any, whatever you want to achieve, especially with jiu-jitsu, it's, first it's going to happen between the ears and most importantly it's going to happen on the mats and what you put into it, you'll get out of it. And a lot of good things have happened to me this year. I got married, we got a house, I have my, my beautiful little niece, you know, thanks to my brother. And this is, man, this is, this is, to me this is, this means everything, man. This is amazing. It's an amazing feeling to be a black belt with all you guys on this mat. I mean, you guys are phenomenal. phenomenal. I look at the purple belts, the brown belts, and I, it's an honor to be a black belt amongst you guys because I have nothing but the utmost respect for you guys. And I, I see you guys in this incredible light. You guys have amazing potential. And to be a black belt at one school is one thing, but to be a Gracie Baja black belt is, feels like, like I won the lottery. So thank you. And, and He was already there. He was already a blue belt, and he was like the coolest guy in the mats. He had the coolest patches. You know, when we went to Brazil, first time ever, they asked the guy, "Where's where the patches?" <laughs> he's the trendsetter at the, at the academy. He's somebody who, you know, these guys it's obvious. As soon as we said special promotion, you know who's getting promoted. It's long overdue. You know, these guys they should have been the black belt when I got mine, but they had some goals they wanted to achieve. And this guy's a dinosaur, right? So. It's an honor to be here for you, Alex. such a long time I just want to thank everybody for helping me and uh, it's great to be with you guys in a strong school and I'm ex excited my first day with uh, jiu-jitsu as I am today so um, just for the white belts just know that I look forward to it every day and it's just part of my life and I just want to thank everybody so much for everything. Pictures, we have some cake on the other side. I got one more guy for the black one. This guy, if you remember the story when I got my black belt, my brother telling a little story how when I started to train, it was by his will. You know, I didn't want to train, he would pull my ear. And the exact same thing that he applied to me, I applied to my cousin. And it's uh, wow. <laughs>
Let's start. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I didn't expect this at all. <laughs> These guys got like a warning to like prepare the speech. I have... <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, hey, you give it a class. <laughs> uh, I started like around the same time. Me and I started at the same time. I can't. <laughs> 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 Uh, me and Andre <laughs> 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 started around the same time. Uh, it's good to, I'm, I, I'm to honor to be get a black belt at the same time with these guys, you know. Uh, see, I can't even talk to them. <laughs> I, feel, no I always thought I would have something prepared and I, I was going to give you guys a good speech. But I, it's an honor to get a black belt with, with these guys. I feel like I'm in a movie, like this is not really happening right now, you know. But uh, like uh, Wallace was saying that it, it's a all I am is a white belt that never quit. You know, it's if you see that sign in the back, it, it's a white belt that never quit. That's what a black belt is. I feel like my journey just started right now. I feel like wow, I don't even know what to say. Anymore. Thanks a lot, guys, your training partners. I wish I would have knew earlier. That's Thanks great. <laughs> Today and I'm really excited. We've come a long way. I'd like to thank my guests once again. Our guests are Kay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You know, it's beautiful to see all you guys here. It's awesome. Thank you. And uh, just to keep it short, we've come a long way. And I remember yesterday, like it was yesterday, uh, Andre being on the mat, you know, coming from a wrestling background, you know, and then he came in the academy. We used to have the yellow mats, right? And you know, all over the place, 100 miles an hour with the shorts, you know, up to here. And, <laughs> and then tap, 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 you know, really excited. And then tap, tap, tap. And you know, he didn't walk out with his head down. He walked up, I mean, he walked out with his head down, but came back with his head up. And he stayed with it. He stayed with it. And now he's got his black belt. So, uh, same thing with Al Alex, you know. We were here on this journey together. Barry, my brother, you know, pushing him. And being an academy where, you know, in the beginning, just a small group of guys where we were excited, you know, just to have a purple belt come out. And this was years, years ago. But now we have the likes of Holes Gracie here with us, and we have uh, black belts now, uh, that purple belts, a handful, dozens, and you guys who are part of this team get to benefit from all this, this legacy that we built. And thank God that you guys are part of it so that. 10,000 mile journey starts with that one step. And as Holes eloquently put it, the elephant, you don't eat it all at once, you chop it up a little bit. So the journey, it might seem long, but you can see these people are a witness that if you commit to something, you are disciplined, and us making this, that family atmosphere, where we leave the egos at the door, that we try to also develop to be the best martial artists with the best character and the best attitudes, you see what we've accomplished here, and we want to continue to have you guys part of this family so you can continue to grow together. All right? And thank you guys once again. And we'll see you back on the mat Monday. Huh? Which camera do you look at? <laughs> <laughs> look at Ken. <laughs>